Well, it's time now for our health report and joining us now is Africa 54 health correspondent, Lino Mudu. Hello, Lino. Hello, Vincent. Hello, everyone. Women's health has been on the global health agenda for years. The Millennium Development Goals of 2015 are a clear indication on how women's health and well-being is a critical part of development. However, some observers say men should not be ignored in addressing women's health. Dr. Harris Trulovici is a global health consultant and founder of the nonprofit organization Life for Mothers. He elaborates on the subject. I hope that uh, governments and aid organizations recognize the important role that men can play to improve the overall health and well-being of women as well as the overall country. If we look at the, the big picture and the way the global community is approaching global health, what do you think that needs to be emphasized? We've gone through a UN General Assembly recently. What was missing, according to you? I think that the engagement of men, the role of men was underemphasized and their role can be extremely positive in bringing about change specifically for women to have access to health services and to bring down maternal child deaths. How do we engage men taking it from ideas and rhetoric to actually action. Political will is critical in terms of creating a positive and reinforcing environment for men to participate in women's health. On the other side, civil society must play a role in uh, ensuring that women have access to health services. Uh, most of these population are in rural areas and therefore the need for uh, community health workers using a mobile health uh, technology to reach out to these women are very, very important. And having a distribution of men uh, to be community health workers, to try and recruit as many men as possible uh, is very important, as well as engaging the male elders to get behind these initiatives will get, go a long way to ensuring that women get the health service they require. We're talking about policies, laws that should be put in place or reinforced, and we're talking about behavioral change. What specifically? Well, behavioral change certainly is going to take a longer time, and uh, the efforts to change gender-based violence and focus on creating uh, gender equality should be uh, driven by the educational system, and also by social media. Social media can play a huge role in um, ensuring that uh, women are made more aware of their options. So when you think about the, the SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals post-2015 agenda, what do you think then should be some of the priorities? One of the most important uh, factors is bringing down the fertility rates of women. The number of children are as high as seven uh, children in a family, and it's close to that in uh, Uganda and many other countries. And just bringing down the fertility rate alone will bring down the mortality rate. What do you say to these people who say that, why should we try to control how many kids we have as long as the woman is okay, she can have children, it's a blessing for those who believe? The situations that you're bringing up are individual situations. And when you look at the overall population of the country through demographic health surveys that are done periodically, you'll find out that in actuality, the number of children that women want are much, much less uh, in the neighborhood of three to four children. Therefore, they're not getting access to uh, contraceptive counseling or family planning in reality. The other issue is you could have midwives go out into the field with community health workers and actually explain and show examples of how women suffer and actually have lifelong complications of childbirth. And these are not rare. I think that if men were behind women in terms of the importance for them to uh, give birth in a facility and make their antenatal visits at least four, 
this would go a long way to improving their health as well as being behind uh, contraceptive counseling and family planning. And that's our Africa Health Report for today. Back to you, Vincent. Well, Lenore, thank you very much. Now be sure to watch Lenore Madu's Health Reports every Tuesday and Thursday right here on Africa 54.